I'm Caleb Lathan. I am Joel Wittenberg. I'm Chris Tabron. We are standing uh, in Studio A at Red Bull Studios, New York. Uh, what makes this studio different than a traditional recording studio is, I would say, it's built on that philosophy of the Music Academy first and foremost. Um, and that philosophy is one about uh, curating and cultivating uh, young talent. It, we really want to provide um, a level of professionalism, but also kind of at the forefront of things. You know, we like trying out new stuff, um, and we like when an artist is feeling inspired by something. They've got their tricks and the things that they like to use and sometimes they want to see what's new and, and so actually a friend of mine the other day we want to work here and he was like all right what's what's the new thing I have to have you know what should I be using and we kind of just did a thing where all right well yeah let's let's pull up the TR8. me the the immediacy of it is the first thing you know like I used to have a 909 uh, and I loved it but because it's so rare <laughs> I don't want to take it with me I mean there's so many functions with the scatter and stuff like that and individual faders and you know basically the customizability of like all the the sound is limitless to, say, to some extent like on the system one there's like you know an attack the case sustain like there's an individual fit slider for that you know and the tactility and I could just grab something you know there's also um, you know the plug out feature there's all it seems to be a good blend of like we're using it we can use a doll we can use a plug in there's an immediacy there and the way that we operate you know basically speed is king you know for an idea you know never want to have either our productions or an artist suffer because it's like oh wait how do we do that or or wait we got to figure that out or wait no we got to figure this thing out and plug that you know then the idea is gone we want it to just be and living in an age where i mean so much stuff's done just inside a computer and when people come in here they get to actually have a hands-on feel and you know their ideas are coming out much faster and it's like i guess a huge positive for the artist when we first got it, I believe we got the actual the TR8 first. Immediately, I, op I opened up the TR8 because it was like, oh, I know what this is. I know how to I know how to mess with this already. And actually, another producer who's coming in, we were finishing actually mixing his record, but we were waiting on his production partner. And I was just like, well, we got 20 minutes to kill, so we just plugged it in. And then he and I were just jamming on it in 10 minutes. Like we had made it a song that was actually pretty cool. No one opened the manual, no one looked at how do, how do we work, like we both kind of just intuitively knew what we were doing and we were switching patterns and so on, you know. All right, there's the idea, now you're inspired to come up with something that maybe you didn't expect rather than just like placing samples on a grid. I actually used this uh, not too long ago, I was mixing something and the, the 808 toms weren't tuned right in the song and I tried just tuning them in Pro Tools and it just didn't start to sound artifacty and I just pulled this up and did it and it took five minutes and printed it and flew it down the track and it was just easier. This is a new thing called a plug out synthesizer. It's kind of this amazing thing that I feel like everybody's been waiting for for so long is something that's actually tactile and actually controls a synthesizer. I think we've had snippets of it and there's been little things where like you can control like little parts of certain things inside you know a, a plug-in or a VST but now it's actually something that's made for that and not only that but it's by Roland a company that has made synthesizers that like we've been using for years and years that it's just thinking about the ability to have all of these classic synthesizers in a tactile form just a Rolodex of them at your fingertips eventually hopefully was just, it's an insane thing to think about and probably the most exciting thing to me about the IRA series. This is dope. It sounds so good. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really cool. Uh, the bass is huge. Um, you can feel it like in my knees, shaking my knees. <sighs> Please, more plug outs, man. We could take Yeah, I'll just I'll take, a list. Yeah, things. seriously, we'll take it all. Yeah, make more. What do you got? What do you got coming up? <laughs> you got some. You just can't tell me. <laughs>